dear students uh, this is our sixth uh, class through the youtube channel center for chemistry kollam and so far we discussed five different types of hybridization sp sp2 sp3 sp3d and sp3d2 hybridization so in this class we can discuss a new hybridization sp3d3 hybridization okay sp3 d3 hybridization so the orbitals involved in this hybridization are 1s 3p and 3d orbitals suitable example if7 iodine heptafluoride an inner halogen compound if7 inner halogen compound both are halogen iodine and fluorine inner halogen compound iodine heptafluoride suitable example so central atom iodine and seven fluorine atoms are bonded to this central atom iodine seven fluorine atom so central atom iodine valence shell electronic configuration for halogens ns2 np5 for halogens valence shell ns2 np5 outer motion consist seven electrons so ns2 np5 for for fluorine n is equal to 2 for chlorine n is equal to 3 for bromine n is equal to 4 for iodine n is equal to 5 ns2 np5 so iodine n is equal to 5 5s2 5p5 that is the valence shell general outer configuration ns2 np5 fluorine 2s2 2p5 fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine are the halogens ns2 np5 and for iodine the valence shell is 5s2 5p5 okay 5s2 5p5 ns2 np5 5s2 5s2 and 5p5 5px 5py and 5p is and 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 according to hans rule and 5d0 to expand valency of iodine 5d0 1 2 3 4 and 5 5d0 this is the ground state electronic configuration of iodine so in the ground state iodine is monovalent only one half filled orbital all the orbitals are other three orbitals are paired so in the ground state only one half filled orbital only one unpaired electron so valency of i is 1 in if7 the valency of i is 7 so what happens the electrons get to promoted in the excited stage so this electron promoted to here and this electron promoted to here and this electron promoted to here and that state is known as a excited state and thereby iodine increase its valency from 1 to 7 so excited state electronic configuration 5s1 after excitation and 5p 5p x1 5p x 5p y 5p is at 1 1 1 and 5d3 three orbitals to 5d orbitals 5d orbitals 1 2 3 4 and 5 and three orbitals now i did the valency of i did become 7 combining capacity 7 5 7 1/2 filled orbitals 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and it becomes a heptavalence and and this is the excited state electronic configuration so you know so we discussed about all other hybridization and after excitation uh, what happens iodine undergo a hybridization sp3 d3 hybridization sp3 d3 hybridization iodine undergo 1s 3p and 3d orbitals and the 3d orbitals involved the 5d orbitals can be divided into two dxy dxz and dyz 
and dx square minus y square and d z square. For these three orbitals, orientation between the axis and for these two orbitals, orientation along the axis. Orientation along the axis for uh, dx square minus y square and dz square. For these three orbitals, orientation between the axis and these, these three orbitals are similar. So, the three d orbitals involved are dxy, dxz and dyz. And the hybridization is sp3, d3 hybridization. So, in sp3, d3 hybridization, the d orbitals involved in the intermixing or hybridization are dxy, dxz and dyz. In, we discussed in sp3 d2 hybridization, the two d orbitals involved are d x square minus y square and d z square because these three orbitals are similar orientation uh, along the axis. For sp3 d hybridization, the d orbital involved is d z square orbital uh, because it can easily overlap with the mixed with the, the p z orbital which, which also has an orientation along the axis. So, sp3 d3, the 3 d orbitals involved are dxy, dx and dyz. So, 7 orbitals undergo intermixing and thereby 7 new hybrid orbitals are formed and these uh, orbitals are electronic orientation along the uh, along a pentagonal bipyramid, 7 coordinates of a pentagonal bipyramid. 7 orbitals, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7. So, 2 orbitals. So, this is a pentagonal bipyramid and this is iodine atom. 7 orbitals. 7 orbitals. 7 orbitals. The shape is called a pentagonal bipyramid. 2 orbitals in the axial position. So, seven orbitals. Each carry one electron and the shape is a pentagonal by pyramid bond angle 72 degree and 90 degree. I agree. Seven electrons. So this is the hybridization, and seven hybrid orbitals are formed. Each orbital is called sp3 d3 hybrid orbitals, sp3 d3 hybrid orbitals along the seven corners of a pentagonal bipyramid with the bond angles 72 degree and 90 degree. This is a 72, two orbitals in the axial position with the bond angle 90 degree and this is a 72 degree and this angle in the axial position 90 degree and the incoming atom is a fluorine fluorine atomic number 9 configuration 1s2 2s2 2p5 and valence orbitals 2px2 2py2 2pz1 this is a 2pz1 orbital overlap with this sp3 hybrid orbital and the fluorine atom 7 fluorine atom overlapped with this sp3 hybrid orbit, sp3 d3 hybrid orbitals and if7 is produced and if7 is produced and the fluorine atom here with the one electron and if7 is produced if if7 is produced an either halogen compound and this about sp3 d3 hybridization suitable example if7 and the shape of this molecule is a pentagonal bipyramid with two bond angles 72 degree and in the pentagon the bond angle is 72 degree and the axis with a 90 degree and the shape of this interhalogen compound iodine heptafluoride is a pentagonal bipyramid and the hybridization involved is sp3 d3 hybridization so definition sp3 d3 hybridization to oneness 3p and 3d orbitals are involved in an intermixing that hybridization is called sp3 d3 hybridization 
Here seven hybrid orbitals are formed. Their orientation along the seven coordinates of a pentagonal bipyramid with bond angles 72 degree and 90 degree. This is about IF7. And the SP3, D3 hybridization. So shortcut. Anybody is asking what is the hybridization state in IF7? Shortcut. IF7. So steric number is equal to, last class we discussed the steric number is equal to half into V plus M minus C plus E. And this is the shortcut method. Steric number means a number of hybrid orbitals around the central atom. Here central atom is hiding. Number of hybrid orbitals around the central atom hiding. That is steric number is equal to half into Number of valence electrons in the central atom. Central atom is hiding. It is a halogen. Number of valence electron is equal to 7. Plus number of monovalent atoms attached to the central atom. 7. 7 fluorine atom. So 7. So this is a neutral molecule. C means a cationic charge. And A anionic charge. And this is a neutral molecule. Not applicable. So P plus M. Minus 0 plus 0 is equal to 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So total number of hybrid orbitals around the ion is 7. 7 means hybridization. So yes, 3p and 5d orbitals 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So total hybrid orbital is equal to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So hybridization, sp3, d3 hybridization, shortcut. So if7, central atom id is under which hybridization, sp3, d3 hybridization, steric number is equal to 7. So hybridization, sp3, d3. So therefore shape pentagonal bipyramid with bond angles 72 degree and 90 degree. So pentagonal bipyramid, pentagonal bipyramid with bond angles. Uh, 72 degree and 72 degree and 90 degree, two bond angles, and this is uh, IF7. IF7. And this orbital is called the sp3 d3 hybrid orbital. The IF7 7 IF covalent bond is formed by sp3 d3 p overlap. P of fluorine atom. Two pieces of orbital. These are about IF7. So thank you very much.